What's up, man? How can I help you out? Good, man. Good. So remember that deal I was talking to you about on the 15th day? The free wholesaling challenge, the 30 day wholesaling challenge. Remember that? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm trying to think what city in Volusia is it? <laughs> well, I, I already I ain't got a photographic yeah. memory. So, guys, when you tell me about a deal, well, I promise you call me the next in, day. I'll probably forget. I, sorry, I was trying to say the city name. It was out, it was like a, one of the weird ones. Deltona. All right. Anyway. Deltona. Yes. Yeah. All right. Anyway, um, so this deal it's still going, it has a little bit of a twist in it. So it's the sister and the three brothers, however. One of the brothers just got indicted into jail. So nice. Yeah. So she's talking with her estate attorney and they don't she's gonna give me an answer whether they're gonna get a durable power over him or they're just gonna get a public defender to sign for him. So my question was is when I go on the appointment, uh, do I just have her sign, you know, the contract, scan it, and then have the other three docu sign it, or how would that go? He's done more jail deals than I have. Yeah. So. so like uh, guys, first of all, I'm here to tell you when people are in jail, they actually have the legal right to sign contracts just like a regular person. They get person. married. So <laughs> they do a lot of other things too. Okay. Um, the, the, the hard part is getting access to them and like going through all the stuff. So yeah. like during the last few years, it's been really difficult with, with yeah. the pandemic and everything. So it's... Um, <laughs> what are you just talking about? <laughs> Don't say that word. Oh my God. Okay. Anyways, um, I, I would ask... For this, uh, so do the sisters have a good relationship with them, or is it like they? It's it's one sister, three brothers, and they they all have a good relationship. They okay. all so a lot of times I'll ask the siblings to kind of do the work for me, like try it, try it. Like so, if someone's visiting them, they um, they can they can register, they show ID, they can take paperwork to have them sign, as long as he's copacetic with it. Uh, did you talk to him before he got uh, incarcerated? No, I've only spoken with her and she's spoken with them and they all agreed on a price range okay. and stuff. like so that. So honestly, I would just go as business as usual and have them help you out with it. And I would sell it like, listen, if you can just have them sign since you're going out there, this will help ex uh, expedite the process. So we don't have to like, because dude, mailing something to the jail, dude, you're looking at months yeah. uh, it's, and then couriers can't get in there. So use the people that already have access to them. Because I'm telling when you go, it, it's not easy. Like you have to set up an appointment, usually a week in advance. And then you have to declare what your relationship is with them. It get, they get really intrusive into it. And they're like, well, I don't understand. You're buying his house. What's going on? Right. So try to use the, the siblings. Okay. And I would do it sooner than later while it's fresh on his mind. Um, a lot of people incarcerated in jail. I'm not make, but um, they don't they don't get a lot of visitors. So like if it winds up being you and he's incarcerated for a long time, they will spend a lot of time messing with you. I'm right. I just, yeah. I've done 15 visits. It's painful. Right. So get it. I'd get him signed as fast as you can. Now you can get all the others signed and then that puts the pressure on his last signature. So if I had four parties and I had one that's kind of holding out, I get the other three and then I'll shift my pressure on that one person because if the others feel they have a deal, you kind of you, you kind of surround the deal and you have it. But guys, whenever you deal with someone, especially if they're freshly incarcerated, always work through the family because, you, dude, yeah. you showing up out of the blue, he's like, he's gonna go, "What are you? My are you my attorney? Right. Are you uh, are you the prosecutor? Like, right? You can't. So right. unless you talk to him before, use the siblings and uh, just try to get a sign. Do not try to mail it. Do not try to send a courier service. None of it's gonna work. And don't someone once tried to send like a mobile notary it's like they're not getting in there either no nope. so yes. the sisters are going to be your key to doing it now i will tell you they might have access to the internet to even do a docu sign let the siblings help you out with that okay so i i don't know what rights they get i i know they can check email i think they have to pay for it though so, gotcha. okay yeah i, I call her she's i call her tomorrow because she said she's speaking with her attorney today so I'll figure yeah, it just, out. Listen, if you just uh, help me get your brother's signature, um, that would help expedite the whole process and just kind of until it becomes a deal, don't make it a big deal. So many people like right. incarceration happens all the time. Like it's, yeah. there's a big percentage of people in jail that own real estate. So right. um, the worst is when they don't have family and then you got to deal with it. It sucks. I'm just right. like, I'm not even going to hide it from you. So right. use this, use the siblings. she will be fine. Yeah. So um, also, I, cause I talked to Zach about it. The sellers wanted 60 days after the close. 
I just don't know is once it's in the end buyer's possession, is he paying the cost or is there an amount, an amount in escrow? And buyer pay? pays for it. They have to agree to it. Yeah. It's all negotiable. And if you get a nice price reduction due to that fact, yeah, the cash buyer won't mind. Okay. If you're in Florida. It's very easy to evict in Florida. So you'll be fine. Yeah. We, we buy them all the time like that. Gotcha. Cool. That's how we get our best deals. That's true. Yeah. So um, last question here, because uh, Zach talked about it last time, he, uh, possibly doing like a double escrow because um, this one's it's a fairly large spread if I lock it up. Right. So I just vetted the title company and uh, lo and behold, they don't use the buyer's funds to fund both transactions. So uh, I got to I got to um, do some more research. But he said you had possible connections as well. So, um, Benji, so here's the thing. you said shush about what county you're in, dude. It's better if people know that Benji is the guy in this county. It's people send you JV deals, man. That, that's always a big plus. I always scream to everyone where I'm from. Well, as long as you don't scream uh, the address uh, out, uh, no yeah, one's going to As long like... as you don't scream the I'm just, I'm just letting you know. But at, at the end of the day, you have to network with people, with wholesalers, and figure out what title companies do it. Because there are title companies that do it. And sometimes you might have to do one outside the county. They'll do it. Guys, there is a level of... I'm not even say the word risk could title companies of what they want to do. Now what's legal and what they'll do are always two different stories. I did. I've had title companies. What are you they, talking about? I'm just here to tell you I've had title companies in my 20 years do stuff that I didn't even understand. And guess what? It they was made, all legal. They made me uncomfortable and yeah. I stopped using them. Now still we're going legal. on the other side where they're like, I'm not, com I didn't ask you if you're comfortable with it. I asked you like to do that. Do not fight title companies. If they don't want to do it, they're doing you a favor because I've been at title companies where I've done a simple assignment. I mean, a simple ten, fifteen thousand dollar assignment, and the title company completely blows it up. Like, hey, just to let you know, Mister Guinness Company is making fifteen thousand dollars off of you. I already told the seller it wasn't an issue, and you have to sign the disclosure form, and you got to promise you're not going to sue uh, the title company, not Mister Ginn not any of his associates. And then people start asking questions and that's where it becomes a problem. So the, the last thing I want you to do is have a title company blow it well, up. Well, Benji, does the title company not okay with the buyer's fund for the double escrow or they're not good for the double uh, closing at all? Well, this is, this is their email. It says, we will not do a double closing where we use funds from your end buyer as your purchase funds for the seller. Okay. I mean, that, that's not too bad. I mean, no, but it, you can do that as long as it's properly disclosed. It's completely right. legal, but- Guys, this is common with title companies. You can't make them do stuff. So don't make them. Go find a company that will do it for you. Um, and unfortunately, this is a process you go through, especially when you start wholesaling, because some of these problems that you're experiencing now, <laughs> when they come up, you're like, okay, you're better off solving the problems when they come up than waiting a year to get everything perfect. Otherwise, you wouldn't even have a chance to do this deal. So um, I'd rather than be brutally honest and say, I just can't do that. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, he's talking about doing a double closing where he has a cash buyer, puts all their money in escrow. And basically they use that, that money to fund the purchase and then obviously resell it to their buyers. Title companies have the right to say, I don't want to do it. Um, I mean, Benji, just go on Facebook. I just went on Facebook right now and searched it. There's like four or five posts that talk about title companies and Central Florida. And tell them exactly what you want to do. Okay. Like, don't don't sugarcoat it. Just say, hey, this and this want to do it. Can you do it? Gotcha. And they'll say, listen, if if so and so will give consent, we can do that. And that that's how I find out like how to do it. And the whole thing is, you don't want title company. You work so hard to get your deals. Do not let a title company be one blown it up. Right. I've lost half a dozen deals to title companies, and I learned my lesson. I'm like, mm -hmm. man. So, guys, when I say you have to control the title company, this is why because. He goes, hey, use my title company. I'll pay for the title. I'm like, we're not doing that because they'll blow it up every time. Yeah. So you're on the right path. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right. Perfect. Appreciate okay, it, Benji. You got any questions? Let me know. Yeah.